What is going on, people? Welcome to episode 6 of the Lazio series. Now, firstly, apologies, there were no uploads at all on the channel last week. Uh, I'm not going to lie, I got engrossed in F1 2020, my team, and uh, yeah, that kind of ruined my week. So I do want to apologise, but nevertheless, we are back in action this week, and well, back with the Lazio save. And it's been an interesting time since our last game against Inter Milan. Only a few games have passed, but not the results that we would perhaps have wanted. So let's check those out first. So after the one-all drill with Inter in the last game, we went away to Juventus and smashed them 3-0. It was an unbelievable result. To be fair, Juve had the better of the game, but we counter-attacked to absolute dominance. And well, yeah, superb away performance. Barisha from the spot, Milinkovic Savic just after half time, and an in injury time, Immobile sealing a fantastic win. But since then, in the league at least, not ideal. We arranged another friendly in the international break just to sort of keep momentum up. A 6 0 win there. But then most recently, two 1 0 draws. And well, first against Atalanta, they took the lead through Alejandro Gomez. Just after half time, Escalante got us level, but then two minutes later, got himself sent off. We did quite well with 10 men. I was expecting an onslaught from Atalanta, but we actually held firm and did quite well. And then, most recently, really disappointingly, a one all draw away at Sassuolo. SMS put us 1 0 up five minutes into the game, and it seemed like it was going to be a routine performance. But then not long after half-time, Defrel grabbed them an equaliser. Another red card in this game as well. Domenico Berardi, probably their best player, sent off with 20 minutes to go. But we weren't able to capitalise on the man advantage. So one all it stayed. And well, um, yeah, it's uh, it's not been the greatest in recently in terms of results. I mean, we are still undefeated for a long old time. And uh, I would say... A kind of run of fixtures coming up, although Udinese are right up there with us, uh, which will probably be the next episode, to be honest. Um, but let's have a look at the league table then, so as we can see in all its glory, we are still top of the league. But as you said, that uh, as we said rather, that gap only down to two points now to Udinese. Into closing as well, they are three points behind, but we have played a game more than them. So if we win today against Fiorentina, we can extend that gap at the top of the table. And I just noticed Sal and Natana have won a game as well. Who did they beat? Brescia, 3 what? Oh, mate, look at that. You've got to fit the like 7-1 in there. All the games have been quite, well, originally were quite close. And then recently they've just... Uh, it, the turnaround is now, boys, that's all I'm saying. Um, but if we have a look at our team then for today's game, and it is a little bit mixed... Um, just trying to, you know, find the right, uh, what's the word, find the right, find the right mix, if you like. Um, also, you'll notice as well in the mentality, we've stuck that up to attacking. And that's actually, um, that's in the last couple of games that we've actually drawn. So I don't know whether that's having an effect or not. I'm going to leave it like that for now because we are at home and Fiorentina aren't the greatest side this season. So we'll see how that goes. But this is the team. So Gallini is going to start in goal for us. Lazari and Regulon at left and right back. And then Vavro and Armini are going to play centre-backs. I don't know if you've seen much of Vavro. This is him, Slovakian. He's actually played pretty well for us this season. It was around last season, but didn't really play. That's because the Serbi is suspended. As you can see, Pekata out injured as well, which is not ideal. In the middle, Escalante and SMS are going to be there. Escalante back after his suspension of the last game. Morrow out on the right. Johnny out on the left. Brace Mendes in the number 10 role because of Pekata's injury. So hopefully he can provide big things. And then Caicedo up top giving him a chance rather than Immobile. So without further ado, let's get straight into the game. So this is the Fiorentina team then. Catrone is up top for them. Zegnini is someone I feel like I recognise. Norwegian... Maybe he's, I've recognised him in previous FM saves. I'm not too sure. Um, Kwame, I'm not too familiar. Lovro Mea, that is a picture and a half. What is going on there? If we can, I'll zoom in on this on editing. But that is, yeah, we'll leave that. Um, Milinkovic as well. I was amazed he's still here. He's going to be an absolute beast. Lirola, Jogowski as well. So they've got a decent team, but just not performing up to Stan, I'm going to say to the guys 
show me what you can do to keep our run going and the game is underway just gonna move my tv tv screen my monitor there we go um but yeah so first highlight of the game and it may be going fiorentina's way love may all probably score now after giving him so much slack Regalon gets clear but Milenkovic intercepts and well Catrone picks up the ball inside to Kwame we get a good tackle in though and we might be able to come away with it Johnny over the top fantastic ball for Casado he's in tries to go near post but Dragowski equal to it and well the first chance of the game goes our way we really need a result well we really need a win in this game hopefully we can do that without too much difficulty so far, not too much going on. And as I say that, may a free kick. <clears throat> the keeper's had an absolute mare there. Mayer swings the ball in. Galino comes for it. Completely misses it. Lirola at the back post. Completely unmarked. 1-0 to Fiorentina. And we've got it all to do now. Now back to Vavro. And we have to go all the way back. And just needs to up the tempo a little bit. Play through the lines better. Out to Regulon now. Cuts back. Long ball towards Morrow. And the finish from Morrow. Didn't have any conviction. And it allowed Dragowski to get there. Right. Looks like it's going to be a free kick to us. It is indeed. John needs to swing one in with his left foot. Goes for it. Hits the bar. And Casado knocks in the rebound. I thought that might be one of those that's given offside. But nevertheless, Casado knocks it into an empty net. We are back level. The free kick from Johnny causes problems. Dragowski actually tips it onto the bar. Pretty dramatic save. But nevertheless, good save. But fortunately for us, Casado was the first person responding. And while well, he sticks it in. And we go into the break. 1-0. Well, we've had the... It's been... I don't know. It's been a fairly equal game, I would say. But I am going to say to the guys... I'm not happy. We set a higher standard than this so so far this season. So 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 far, apparently. Was Lloyd Cobb he there father? Uh Morrow. Highlight straight for him. Penalty ref. Oh he's banged one. He doesn't need the referee. Oh Morrow. He's showing the form that he showed at the end of last season when I first took charge. Straight from kickoff. SMS bound to Morrow. And he just he just glides forward. Mayo comes in with a tackle, just completely goes past him. Dragowski, well, it was that good. He just fell over. What a finish from the young man. And we've turned this game around. Megalon to Mendes now. We haven't seen too much of Mendes. Tries a long ball forward and it finds nobody. And that's probably going to be a red card. That's Casado who's been a judge to have fouled. I'm guessing it's a two foot. He's going to be sent off. Yeah. Yeah, two footed lunge. Excellent. Um... Right, you can be a shadow striker and we'll push that out to cautious. Or well, down to cautious, I'd say. Um, yeah, we'll leave it like that for now. We'll see how things go. But an early red card this second half is going to make things interesting. Plays it up to Mendes, who is the most... Well, it's going to be the focal point now. But more back... Oh, if that had gone in. If that had gone in, I think you would have probably got as excited as I did, or I would have done. But we're kind of we're doing quite well. With ten minutes to go, we're shutting this game down, and um, yeah, it's just nothing's going on. And I just say like that there's going to be a highlight in the final five minutes. Of course there is, but we play it out nicely. Lazari in space. He's got options. Good ball inside to SMS. Looks for Morrow though, but it's not really conservative enough. But Lazari gets back there. Well done. Morrow. Escalante now. Good switch to Regulon. Johnny makes the overlapping run. Can we get a goal to seal this win? And he's taken down as Johnny. Pazala, the man to have done the foul. And it is VAR who is taking the penalty. It is Vavro, the centre-back. And he buries it. We confirm the win. A first goal of the season for Dennis Favreau. His first goal ever for Lazio. With Dennis Favreau into the back of the net. And well, a calm, casual penalty. And that seals the win with 10 men as well. An absolutely superb win. It might not all over be it. English is hard today. I've just woken up, alright? It's 
I'm a student. It's just like half ten. Leave me alone. SMS. Back to Regulon. SMS now. Mendez. Johnny. Playing, uh, I was about to say playing superb football. The confidence is flowing. And then we go and give it away. Long ball in. Oh, Regulon's missed it. Barrera. Ball in. Sotti's run onto it. Uh, right. Come on, boys. Session passion. Couple minutes to go now. Sotti will... He's the one that scores. And Reg Regulon, that's not even close. That is horrendous. Sotil's done really well to beat Lazari in the air there. And, uh, yeah, with a couple of minutes to go. There we go. Full time. It was never in doubt, boys. Um, yeah, full time. 3-2. What a really good game. And a lot. Goals, penalties, red cards. For the neutral, I'm sure it was a fantastic game. Yeah, get that, get that on your beach. Uh, your bingo. Oh, bingo cliche. You've offended so many people there. Good win, boys. Well done. Get out. Get out. And, uh, yeah, I think that will wrap up this episode, to be honest. Five points clear of Udinese as it stands. Six points clear of Inter. Udinese, of course, do have a game in hand on us. <laughs> I did say next time out that we will do the Udinese game. I'm actually tempted just to go to Sampdoria because there's a mini, like, winter break, if you like, in Italy. Um, obviously, that game, the Udinese game, is a couple of days before Christmas, but then we don't have a game until the start of January. So, I think what I'm going to do is move to Sampdoria, uh, and then we can talk transfer business as well because the window will be open. Um, so, yeah, we'll do Sampdoria in the next game, and hopefully... We will be in a good position going into that. But that is going to be it for this episode, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, pop a like on there for me. Subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys in a piece.